Oh hey, here's a little tip for training knees from the clinch. So if you're empty handed and you're fighting in a system that allows clinching, which is holding on to some part of your opponent and throwing low line knee strikes, then this is going to apply to you. And the tip is, when you're training it using pads, get the pad holder to provide some kind of barrier for the fighter to enter or get past or deal with. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I see you all too often pad holders just holding the two tie pads crossed over their belly because they don't get need in the belly, no one wants that, and just offering their head or their neck forwards for the fighter just to like grab onto from outside of the range. And that's unrealistic because in some kind of sparring context or some match, there's going to be some barriers in the way, the other person is going to be trying to punch you or something, and there's going to be movement and chaos. So you've got to get used to getting past the barriers to be able to grab the neck or the arms or overhook or whatever it is. So when you're holding pads, ah, I'll just cut to the clip, you'll see. Rob, deal with the barrier. See if you get to inside bicep control and single collar. Yeah, underhook's good. I meant more like um, that kind of bicep control. Nice. <laughs> Undo his belt. So there, I hope that was helpful. Nice short video for you. If you really enjoy Empty Hands, I'll link some other videos around here or here or down there and all that. Cheers. Okay.